on April 13th of 2004. I woke up with two legs, but I went to sleep that night with one leg. I can tell you that that was not part of my to-do list for that day, nor was that part of my life plan. I'm sure many of you would agree if I asked you if your life has gone as planned, the answer would probably be no. That's kind of the beauty of life, right? I knew that my chosen profession as a military officer was a risky one, but you never think something like this is gonna happen to you until it does. In a moment, I'm gonna tell you the story of that day, but first I wanna ask all of you a question. If you experienced a sudden, dramatic, life-changing event, which I know many of you have with the fires this past year, could you and would you weather the storm? Could you deal with it? Would you not only weather the storm, but could you come out better on the other side? I know it's hard to think about for some of you, but could you do it? A little bit of a gut check here. I believe that you could, and I know that you can, and today I'm gonna to tell you why. But first, I wanna thank you for having me here today. I wanna to congratulate all of you on being here as well. I've never been to Reno before, and I have never spoken in a room that has a pool in it. I'm gonna check that one off my bucket list, which I didn't even know was on my bucket list. But to begin my story, I'm gonna take you many, many, Years back. To me, as a young gymnast, so I'm sure many of you were athletes when you were younger, and I was no different. I dreamed of being an Olympic gymnast, and I was in the gym before school, after school. I had, you know, the Olympic gymnast everywhere. And before we gymnastics meet, I would stand on that format, as we always did, put my hand on my heart, and we would sing the national anthem as we looked at that American flag. And I would imagine myself getting the perfect 10 on that American flag because that was every young gymnast dream. And while that never happened, what did happen was developing a deep love for our country, for the red, the white, and the blue, realizing at a young age how lucky we are to live in the country that we do. And as I grew a little bit older and I saw military personnel around the community on TV, I saw a flag patch on their shoulder and I knew that that's what I wanted to do. So my story eventually led me out to the University of Colorado in Boulder. Freshman year, I saw cadets marching around campus with that uniform on, and I could tell that they were part of a team, and I wanted to be part of that. So sophomore year, I was basically a recruiter's dream because I marched into his office and I said, I want to join the Army, where do I sign? He said, well, sign here, so I did. And in turn, he handed me my very first uniform. I went back to my dorm room, I put it on, and I knew that that's what I was supposed to do with my life. Now, I don't come from a military background. My parents knew of my desire to be in the Army, but they kind of thought it was a phase I was passing through, because why would their youngest daughter actually want to join the Army? So imagine their surprise when sophomore year they get a phone call, and I'm like, guess what, Mom and Dad? I just joined ROTC. I'm going to be in the Army. And there's kind of this awkward pause, as parents do so well. And suddenly my dad blurted out, they allow girls in the army? So it was this unknown world, and we were all diving in, into it together. But of course, they allow girls. And I fell in love with it. I got to wear the uniform, I got to paint my face in camo, I got to learn battle drills, I got to learn leadership skills, I got to roll around in the mud, rappel down rocks. I loved it. And then, senior year in college, and a day that we'll never forget, and that truly changed the world. September 11th of 2001. And if you recall, this day was a Tuesday. And like every other Tuesday, it was ROTC day. I was in my uniform. I was sitting with my fellow cadets watching the news unfold on TV. And it was this day that our instructor looked at us and he said, today your lives are gonna change. It's not a matter of if you would employ over to a foreign country. It's more a matter of when. So the uniform that I was so proud to wear on American soil, I knew I'd probably be wearing it on foreign soil as well. 